Hey guys, how's it going? Coaches Joe and Tina, going back to you with another Coach Tip Tuesday. Today we're gonna to cover the air bike. So I'm gonna have Tina go for a couple seconds on the bike and I'll give her some cues and we'll go over why those cues are important. All right, go ahead, Tina. So she's really quad dominant right now, so I'm gonna tell her to claw the ground with her feet and her toe is gonna to point down at the bottom, engaging more of the posterior chain. I'm gonna work up to the top and say, just keep your eye, head and eyes up open up that airway, make sure you're pushing and pulling with the arms. Go ahead, you can stop. And those are just a couple of tips that are gonna make us more efficient on the air bike. So next we're gonna take a look at the screen to see how we can learn from each bike workout. After Tina's 30 seconds or so on the bike, we've seen that she had an average RPM of 70 and a max of 74. 10 calories measuring her output in calories. And then wattage up here is her power output. So you get to see the average and max as well. Same with speed in the upper left. And then we have distance in kilometers and time. You can use these as tools to become more efficient on the bike as you get more experience with it. Thanks for joining us on this week's Coach Tip Tuesday. Hope that helps you become more efficient biker on the air bike so it's not such a torture machine. Thanks guys.